Pembroke is such a swagger. But he can raise an army of knights at your command. Norfolk, you saw how puffed up he is. And as my cousin, he has a claim to the throne, so he boasts. All the more reason to keep him close to the throne where we can see him. Robert Dudley. The man's the son of a traitor, a rank opportunist. None of us are responsible for the sins of our father, Sir William. And opportunism is no sin when it's for survival. Or in his case, advancement. By that token, half the men in my court could be found wanting. Will you be inviting his wife to court also? The wife's place is at home. <sighs> Indulge me in this one thing, William. I shall forever be amenable to your demands. As you say, we must act decisively. faithful hearts in your preservation of me and this commonwealth. That I, with my ruling and you with your service, make a good account to God and leave on this earth some legacy of comfort in our posterity. Here are my wishes and intentions. I dislike waste and profligacy in all its forms. I intend to oversee the national budget with the same rigour as with my households and estates. My foreign policy shall be directed by the same principles. I will always defend England's shores, but I will not decimate our resources trying to expand on them. You shall find me resolute on this. As for religion, henceforth all services will be conducted not in Latin, but English, starting with my coronation. How can my people understand the power of prayer unless they first understand its meaning? If they are to accept the Protestant faith, it must be through persuasion, not purges. Let the Catholics keep their crucifixes and robes if they wish. There is but one Jesus Christ. The rest is trifling. She thinks to make herself legitimate by legitimizing her faith. We should live so long.
is her father's daughter, no matter what they say. The hair proves it. Look closely, sir. Her eyes are her mother's. We have the chance to end this wretched petticoat government, my lords. Let us seize it. The Queen will marry the Archduke Charles. Agreed? Admit your love for him. Only then can you find the courage to do what you must and discard him. We are guilty of nothing immoral. I mean, if I choose so to dishonor myself, no one shall forbid me. No one!